Hi, my name is Mike, and today's video I'm calling it What Fellowship Does Light Have With Darkness? As you know, today is a pagan holiday called Halloween. Hence my title, What Fellowship Does Light Have With Darkness? As you get some Christians celebrating or going to parties uh, regarding this event, pagan event, Halloween. Um, 2 Corinthians 6.14 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? Uh, as children of light, we should avoid darkness and things that the world accepts. But as Christians, we should not accept it as it goes against God. Ephesians 5.11 Have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Ephesians 5.8 For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are in the light, in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Satan's clever. He uses worldly celebrations to entice you when you're young. Like, for example, trick-or-treating. Dressing up sweets start on the young to get them enticed into these holidays making it seem fun and good but as scripture says Isaiah 520 woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness for bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter the same goes for Christmas again charming kids with presents and food and enticing them in the celebrations of Christmas tree decorations and things like that, starting them young. Many Christians believe that this is a time to celebrate the birth of Christ. But in Scripture, one, Jesus never gave a date for his birth, nor was it written in Scripture. And secondly, Jesus never told us to celebrate his birthday. This is a pa pagan man-made tradition. The birthday you're really celebrating is this person. Nimrod. This is his birthday on December the 25th. Who was he? The one that built the Tower of Babel. An enemy to God. You can see the similarities as well. From this is from uh, ancient Nineveh artifact of Nimrod. How he is carrying um, a reindeer and a tree, very similar with a beard. It looks almost identical to Santa Claus or Satan's claws. I call it. Just go into any store nowadays uh, for, for Christmas and what do you see there? Anything to do with Jesus? No. It's just things like elves, Santa Claus, snowmen and such like. Nothing to do with Jesus, not even a Bible for sale. So what fellowship has light to do with darkness? Do not fellowship yourself with darkness of this world. As James 4.4 4 said, Ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. And I'll finish with uh, this article called The True Meaning of Christmas. Nimrod, the Lord of Christmas. I'll leave a link to the article so you can read it yourself. So where did Christmas come from? From the Bible or paganism, here are some astonishing facts that may shock you. Do you know the original Christmas tree of Santa Claus, of the mistletoe, holly wreath, custom for exchanging gifts? Does Christmas really celebrate the birthday of Jesus? Was Jesus born on December 25th? Did Paul, the apostles, and the early church of the New Testament celebrate Christmas? Do you know that the Bible says about the Christmas tree? Very few know why we do these things um, and where the customers come from. Look at what Jeremiah the prophet says. It warns you not to follow the way of the heathens. For the heathens go in the forest 
they cut down a tree and they fasten it down and they deck it with silver and gold. Ain't that what you do? Santa Claus knocked Jesus off the top spot and the merchants who don't even believe in Jesus are busy selling you foolishness, making themselves rich and you poor for another year on the basis of a lie. And that's why it's called Xmas because you don't know who it is really is you are worshipping. Nimrod is who you are really celebrating on December 25th. You're not celebrating the birth of Jesus. The real origin of Christmas goes back to ancient Babylon. The name Nimrod is Hebrew and derives from Marid, meaning the rebelled. December 25th was the birthday of Nimrod. Um, They celebrate this famous birthday over most of the known world for centuries before the birth of Christ. December 25th was highly honoured and recognised by Nimrod's supporters. Many centuries later it was Christianized as being the birthday of Jesus Christ. Nimrod was the founder of a religious system that began in ancient Babylon and has always opposed God. The Bible states that Nimrod was a mighty hunter before the Lord and began to be mighty in the earth. Biblical tradition associated him Nimrod with the Tower of Babel led to his reputation as a king who was rebellious against God. Uh, this heaven-defying group of people wanted a one government to rule the world and one religion to sway the hearts of mankind. This was Nimrod's attempt to defy God and his authority and, to, and the ringleader of this scheme was Nimrod. Um, it gets more information about that. Uh, let me just read this bit as well. Traditionally, a Yule log was burned in a fireplace on Christmas Eve, and during the night, as the log embers died, there was appearance in the room, as if by magic, a Christmas tree surrounded by gifts. The Yule log represents the sun god Nimrod, and the Christmas tree represented himself resurrected as his own son, Tumaz. So this is the origins of the Christmas tree in the Yule log. The Yule Log is a dead Nimrod, human ruler of ancient Babylon, who was eventually defiled as a sun incarnate and hence a god. The Christmas tree is mystical to Maz, the slain god come to life again. This is the true original Christmas. So December 25th, the birthday of Nimrod. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the article so you can read it yourself. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.